afternoon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Dice Clay. Very relaxed Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, and there he is. Hot Tub Johnny West. That's Dice, That's your father, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, nice to see you. That's Fred, right? Can I call you Fred? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I had, I had your call for you. Dice was close to his father. How are you? Hey, there he is. That's uh, Noodles. No, downtown. Downtown, 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 uh, downtown Ronnie. Downtown Ronnie. I don't know. I asked Trey again. We got to... I got it. I got we it. We got to start with this. <laughs> well, look at Dice, old tan. Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> How are you? Well, we got to wake up. You're here. You, you got to understand. You hear me now? Hey. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, you know, Hot Tub just re responds to that when you say it. Well, is that right? We're very nauseous. Hey, Hot Tub, you hear me? I hear you. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, the one thing, Hot Tub's hair is never relaxed. No. Hot Tub's hair is always <laughs> in a pompadour fashion. <laughs> hey, you look good, Hot Tub. I heard you had some uh, laryngitis. Yeah, so it's a lot better. It's What's the matter? You're burning the candle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're burning the candle at both ends? No. No, he wasn't. What happened? You did Joan Rivers yesterday? Yeah. How'd that go? Good. I would have been there, but I had to go... Well, I'm an exciting guest. <laughs> Jackie. What'd you do on Joan Rivers? Uh, you know, hung out. Guys, your parents still married or your father uh, single at this point? Uh, no, they're, they're together. Oh, you're together, right? Of course. How many years you been married? Uh, well, on and off about, uh... No, a long time, a long time. You don't have to answer him. Hey, Dice, what, did I hit something How there? many years? <laughs> no, they're in the middle of a big fight. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, it could be the end, huh? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Never the end. No, but being Dice's father, you probably get a lot of young women. That's why. Oh, they, yeah. they flock around me like... Well, we had uh, these uh, these penthouse chicks you would have liked last oh, night. Oh, beautiful. Where'd yeah, you get them? Uh, they came on the River Show. They presented me with uh, the key over there. <laughs> Yeah. See, oh, yeah, the, yeah. Penthouse uh, <laughs> the penthouse key. The penthouse key. What do you mean? Joan had like a little thing planned. You don't have a penthouse key, do you? No. You know, what Bobby. do you mean? Joan had like a little thing planned where? No, well, uh, Bobby, my friend Bobby, you know Gucci on. Right. Personal <laughs> friend. <laughs> he sends these um, over there. These two chicks. Right. With the key. Because I was the first <laughs> guy, other than himself, to be on the cover. To. Uh, be on the cover there. Of Penthouse. Yeah, here. Right. Hey. It wasn't Omni, it was Penthouse. So, so, uh, and then they were going to give Joan one, but she won't accept it. Why? Because it's Cause sexist? She think, yeah, she thinks it's like a horrible thing. There. Oh, yeah, it's real horrible. And, um... The all she, you know, Joan is the only one who actually pays attention to people's physical appearance. If you're not good looking, she, like, freaks out. Well, they wanted her to do a layout. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be attractive. <laughs> you know, you know... She, What's with you and Joan? Did Joan help you early on in your career or something? Cause you she was like, actually the first talk show to ever have you that ever put me on. So, like, you feel like, uh, hey, yeah. I owe her or something, so you go on the no. show. No. I don't know her nothing. But uh, you feel but, you feel good about her. But it was nice of her when she did it. So then you, you always make I mean? a point to go on her show. You know, I could have brought up that when I did the show over there, yeah. she didn't give me a panel. You know. Right. She didn't let you But, sit you know, down. I let things go. Right. You know, I did my act. I sat down, and she said, well, that's the end of the show. And I'm like, what do you mean, that's the end of the show? Don't I get panicked? I mean, I'm over here, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're <laughs> over you. there, you fully. And uh, and now, you know, my mother's sitting out there with my father over there, and they want me to talk, and it's like, you know, good Who's night, this girl nurse. you're in the newspaper with? This what one. What girl? This one. The guy's really? seen. Where's that see. from? This is from... Uh, Probably some hoa that leached onto me somewhere. No, no, no. Us Magazine. What is that? Yeah. Who is that? Let Have you say. seen this? No, I didn't see it. Give me Where the picture. You're, the at a, you're at a uh, Steven Seagal opening, Andrew Dice Clay with Love, Kathleen, Monica. Who's that? Is that? That's my girlfriend. That's oh, Trini? That's Trini, yeah, right? Let me see. That's a picture of her. Where is Because oh, Gary yeah. goes, that's not Trini. Ah, There's cool. Baba Booey. Baba Booey again. Is this again. a new one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the movie premiere stuff. You now, know, we now do what that. is with this guy from uh, Low Singles? You know, what's Hollywood. his problem? He won't re you know, I don't understand what's going on in society. No, I'll tell you what it is. Let me say something here. No, can I just say something? Go ahead, say something. Yeah, they man. never had the movie. I... They never had it? No, they were never putting out the movie. Lowe's you... was never putting out no, the movie. No, UA is putting the movie out. Right. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. You know, <laughs> backed up with, you know, the Seven Arts <laughs> thing over there. But, and, uh, 
And then Louis starts making statements. You know, we're not airing the movie over here. Me here. I hear you. And, uh, <laughs> but they, they never had it there. <laughs> now you can say what you were going to say. No, Trini what I'm saying good is, in this picture, huh? Yeah, she's cute. Of course I never she's saw, cute. I never saw your girlfriend before. Well, when she's in town, you know, I'll bring her in. Yeah, I like to meet her. Every once in a while, I say to Dice, we'll get together at my house. Uh, but we'll that never it. happens. No, no it never but, happens. But we will. Eh, who cares? I mean, listen, I don't want to put any pressure know, on you. I always feel like I'm putting on? pressure. You don't think he wants to get together? I no, don't know. No, I don't know I what do. he wants. Come on, I, I don't know what you want. We rap nice. Come we on, rap. Don't start. I'm right. only don't asking. start. I'm only <laughs> don't start. Did I tell you I just got up? Did I tell you I was sweating all night? No. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know. I, I was like, uh, I had Ajida. What's with your father, man? He's got the best job of all. He gets to be. You're the manager, right? No, I'm not the manager. Because we always well, go through. Why do you say that when you are? Huh? Why do you say you're not the manager? Well, I'm his personal manager. He's the only one I listen to, believe me. All the parasites out in L.A. I don't listen to. And your father watches your money and stuff for you because the other guys would just steal it, right? Well, he says he watches it. I make sure I never see any. So you got to pay your father? Do you, do you get paid for your services? Oh, I certainly do. I get paid very well. He knows that. <laughs> He's a very rich guy, daddy boy. He is? So is that yeah. what's going on between uh, him and your mother? No, no, no. She's got plenty of bread. What are you fighting about, then? Um, we never fight. No, they're not fighting. Are they together? I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. They're together. Yes, you're together? Yes, we are. You ever get tempted on the road when you're with Dice and never. you see all these young girls? Never. Really? Never. You know, I always hated that stuff. What? what? You know. What? The whole, the whole, you know, backstage girl thing. Oh, yeah. The groupie thing? Yeah. Who's some girl on the TV show says she had sex with you? No, but that was a... Uh, a you complete didn't? falsehood. It was? <laughs> that was a complete falsehood. I thought it would be. She didn't enough. look like you know, your type. Yeah, <laughs> see, I never saw that show, but... but uh, She came Becky on and just said it. Becky the Retard showed me... Uh, <laughs> Ricky the Retard. No, <laughs> Becky the Retard. Oh, Becky the Retard. <laughs> oh, yeah, Becky the Retard, yeah. She you says know. she's worked with you. You mean she, Becky the Mental Patient. She, she <laughs> Becky the Retard. Yeah, Becky. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's for sure, though. You know, the it's mental patient, retard. whatever she wants to be. Right, the Becky the Mental Patient. <laughs> mentally <laughs> Becky the Retard. <laughs> she, uh... She showed me a picture yeah. of the girl. I hear you. you. Know, and, and I never seen this idiot, you know. Right. You, you know, know, a lot of women are going to come out of the woodwork. You realize yes. that, man. You're famous. Uh, so why? You know that's going to happen to you. You know. I mean, it's part of the territory. Yeah, but, you know, but this particular but guys, one, all, all your the dreams... one that does come out of the woodwork, i never seen in my life. Let me tell you, I went Just to Just a whore looking for some PR. Well, you don't know that she's a whore. Well... Well, what is she? Whore. She wants to come on your show and say that <laughs> I never seen her before in my life. Really? Yeah. See, God's this honestly. is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens to a guy. Well, like we that. said this was just her story. We don't know whether it's true. I made a point of saying that. You'll you'll have uh, you him enough. Hey, tell me if Jackie and Fred are doing this right. Whenever I say you hear me now, they sound kind of weak on. Do Jackie do it. and Fred. That's yeah, my you? parents' names. You hear me now? We hear you. Yeah. He says no, now. No, is this no, supposed no, to be? No. Well, there is a you hear me now. I it. But 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 you don't put it right. Hot tub. You, you know, mind, it's you like mind, if I say... <laughs> you mind not doing that noise with the microphone? If I say you're here, yeah. the answer should just be, hey. hey. See, when Dice called me on the phone... In the says, middle of a statement, I might go like, oh, you know, like... When I'll get... You'll hear me do it when it happens. You know, he called me up on the phone and he goes, I got this new thing I'm doing. I go, yeah, what is that? He goes, you hear me now? So I go, what the hell is that? You know, and I'm saying to myself, you know, I don't want to insult the guy, but this is on what, for months. I know, and and, and, it, and even Jackie and Fred and Rob and I, we were all sitting in the office going, you know, when, we, when he first when I first told him about it, they were like, what is he nuts? Saying you hear me now? Maybe he's lost his mind. Maybe he lost it. That's it. That's, we got nervous that you that's lost the it. Act now. We thought, okay, okay, listen, the guy made plenty of dough. Now he can retire. He yeah. lost it. Why work hard? But we're doing it every minute, huh? <laughs> we love yeah. it. You hear me now? I like you hear me now. Yeah, that was good. What? Well, you hear me now, it's part of it, but it's not there. That's not the answer. Oh. It's I like if I say... <laughs> I'll, You're doing I'll say it wrong, Howard. You hear me now? I hear you. <laughs> so you think it's easy? <laughs> it's not that he easy. You worked on this. You hear me now? I hear you. Hey, Hot Tub, yeah. how you doing? Good. Getting Life's late? crazy. It's like, uh... Getting any girls, Hot Tub? Mm, not really, no. Show us the daddy boy. He'll like okay. it. It's nice to see some nice press on you. I mean, yeah, people are really bad. Yeah, I'm used to it, too. Look at look, look, look at the uh, newspaper today. Pete Hamill. Well, neither one of you are mentioned. 
Why? What are good reasons to live in New York? Radio Watto and Imus. You know. And Bob Grant. And Bob Grant and Elaine Kaufman. How is Imus? You're friendly with him, right? Oh, yeah, real friendly. Stupid ass, <laughs> Imus. You don't like him? <laughs> I hate that guy. Really? Yeah, He's I hate him. There. Isn't he on the air for like 20 years already? Okay. It's 20 years, and you know what? He keeps losing more and more audience every day. When, just when we thought it was impossible for him to lose more audience. I don't why you wouldn't like him. You know why I don't like him? Because I worked with him, and I realized what a louse he is. Yeah, but he's like legendary, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, legendary. No? You like every old comic you meet? I hate him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't get me started on it. You want to know why I hate the guy? Nah. Yeah, I don't know. He ripped off everything I do. He was doing nothing. And now he goes around saying I ripped him off. That stupid old creep. I gave him an act. He was playing 12 records an hour, Robin, when we got there. That's right. Sitting there. Hi, this is Imus. What's your favorite radio station? Um, WNBC. Thank you, baby. Into the commercial, into music. Who are we kidding here? Would he use the megaphone? That old lazy bastard. I you Don't weren't you gonna tell curse. me about that. I thought you weren't going to curse. Hey, Becky the retard's on 260. <laughs> you want to talk to her? <laughs> Where is she? Where is she hey, just... is this Becky the retard? Hello? Hi, Becky the retard? <laughs> hey, turn off your radio. Becky. Oh, God, I don't believe it. Be I'm waking up. Hey, Dice, did you have sex with this mental patient? Is no, that what you're no, telling me? No. no. Becky the retard would say Who taught you, you how to walk? What? Who taught you no, how to Dice, walk? He taught me how to get a standing ovation. Did I teach you how to walk? The proper way. He did. She's stupid. stupid. Did, did I teach you how to fresh. walk? Hey, stupid. He's very fresh. Hey, stupid. Dice, Dice is talking to you. Those little whores in the house. Who taught the you whores. how to walk? The whores. What? Who taught you how to walk? <laughs> he taught me how to get a standing ovation. He did. Outside... Outside the club, he did. Yeah, you're a retard. Uh, He's outside right. Outside the club, Wait, she but got you got to ask about it. dropping the keys. That's a best bet. Becky, the stupid retard. <laughs> On the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Do me a favor. Let me take a break here. Hey, and we got you for the morning, right? You're yeah, here. Yeah, we're here. You're here. So let's uh, come back. We'll do some news because you're good at that. You like to analyze the news. Yeah, Even sure. Hot Tub can jump in on this. Hey, Hot Tub, why don't, you stop, why don't you stop rubbing Dice's leg? <laughs> what what is you got to say? What are you doing? You know, don't get him crazy. You know, you look a little like John Travolta. Uh, he doesn't like those swishy. You've been uh, reading about John Travolta? No. Check this out, man. Hold on a second. This is going to shock you because you were kind of into him. Uh, I think Travolta. Well, he does that song, Grease Lightning. Or yeah, something? yeah. You better stop doing that song. I'm telling you right now. Wait till you I see think that. it has a secret message in it. Seducing married men is John's big turn on. Hear me now. I hear you. You hear that? Yeah, but look what you're reading it in. Oh, come on. Look at this. Outrageous swishy gaze didn't turn him on. He preferred to seduce married men, weightlifters, physical trainers, and others who had not been introduced to the gay scene. Look at Dice, because he really likes John Travolta. I know, that's no, I like one like of him. his heroes. Wait, what do you want from me, man? Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a bad thing or what he's doing? I don't know. You funny? <laughs> hey, Fred, you proud of Dice, man, your son? I'm very proud of you can't believe it, right? It's like a dream. Did did you, you think? What did you think he was going to be when he grew when up? When he was growing up, did you think he was an idiot? Huh? Never. My old man thought I was an idiot. Never. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Dice. So maybe no, he was did, right. Did Fred look into little Dice's <laughs> crib and see a genius? Did you save all the movements from Dice's diaper? <laughs> like, were you one of those dads who thought everything he did was great? We, are, we have it painted all over the wall. What? The Dice? Whatever he had. Dice is all over. Yeah, see, I used to, I used to be an artist with my... Uh, no, but I'm saying you always felt that he was a great kid. Stuff. We always knew he was a genius. You did know. You believed him all along. Boy, my father didn't. That's why my father's not my manager. You're never going to make your father your manager. You're never going to hey, get wanna, a job. Hey, uh, hey, Fred, you want to hear my father? Wanna Did you hear? ever sound like this when talking to a young dice? I got, every time I start thinking good of my father, I play these tapes, Fred. <laughs> I'm going to play them for you right now. Let's see. Hey, here's my father counseling me, uh, young Howard Stern. I'm seven I, at the time. I told you not to be stupid, you moron. <laughs> there he is. Here. Shut up! Sit down! Here's my, and here's my father. Well, I began when I was, I said that just here. <laughs> then people say, oh, he's done it, you know, uh... All right? Yeah. Well, he had all good reason. Look at you now. Yeah, well, now my father walks around. I knew, you know, he always had a sense of humor. Yeah, 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 right. sure. Sure, sure, Dad. Right. You hear me now? Hi. Hey, at least you believed in dice. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? I hear you now. 
All right. <laughs> okay. All right, let me tell you about this, Robin. It ain't no Patagot. Hey, let me tell you something, my friend. Hey, now you're working out again. Last time I saw you, you were chunky. You look good yeah, now. Yeah, but I look real good now. Now you look good. You were so, letting yourself go. You were getting carried away with that Hollywood lifestyle. You don't come back to your roots anymore. Yeah, but now I'm there. Johnny, am I boring you? What's your problem, what you, dude? Why you with him? They'll rip off your arms and beat you to death with him. Yeah. You don't know Johnny. <laughs> don't get him crazy over there. Yeah. Kinnison, Kinnison told me you yeah. made up that story about uh, taking his do-rag. No. Is that true? You wouldn't lie to me and Dice, would you? Because we weren't there. It Dude, just right. happened again to him. Oh, what happened? No. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. What? Yeah, we get into trouble every time you tell us. No, it happened story. again. Duff from Guns N' Roses beat him up. <gasps> beat up who? Beat Sam? Uh, Sam up, yeah. <laughs> well, we just had Duff on the air the other day. Yeah, he was just did on he, with did us. Did he tell you? He didn't mention anything about that? Yeah. Wait, what are uh, you saying? This, this isn't more than ten See, days ago. Now Sam thinks uh, if I if, if Dice brings this stuff up, Sam thinks that Sam I'm a bad will, guy. Stan? No, what Sam happened will, was <laughs> Sam will stop talking to us. Duff calls me up. Right. Ten in the morning. I'm getting ready to do a meeting. This, I was awake. You have a busy career. You have to take. And meeting. um, and he starts telling me this whole story that uh they were over at that uh, uh Chateau joint. The Shad mama? Mama, yeah. where uh, Belushi... Yeah, they weren't together. Right. You know. Sam was somewhere else. And Sam heard they were, uh, that Slash and Duff were in the hotel. Right. So, this is Duff's story. Right, I understand. So, Duff... So, now Sam knocks on Slash's door, and Slash invites him in, and, and Sam starts screaming at Slash that he promised he'd do him a record, and he wants to be successful, and he owes him this and that. And now we cut to Sam choking Slash to death. What? You're kidding me. Yeah, this is the, what Tuff told me. All know? right, so this, is an, this is the third So he's choking him to death. And the girl that Duff is with wakes Duff up. Right. And she goes, I'm not sure, but I think somebody's killing Slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Maybe you want to And Sam was Now, there Slash with, is a pretty powerful guy, though. You would think that uh, he could uh, fend for himself. Yeah, but uh, Sam once again was with his bodyguard, so, you know, I he see. had back up to choke him. Right. So now, Duff gets up, he says, out of a dead sleep, and he goes in the hallway, and he says he sees, like, this 350-pound monster charging at him. Right. He goes, he just woke up. He's just getting out of bed. <laughs> right? And, um... Look at Hot Tub. He loves this. Look at him. And then what happens is, so he tackles Duff, and the bodyguard holds Duff, and he starts hitting Duff, and Duff got away, and he split his lip. Right. He split Sam's lip. So, so Duff punched Sam in the face? Yeah. Yeah. He said his whole, his whole you know, head was swollen. <laughs> and then Sam was going to have him arrested because after he punched him, you know, he dragged him into his room. Duff dragged <laughs> Sam into his yeah, room? Where where uh, there's a mirror. <laughs> Is this and, true? No, I'm telling you. I mean, you, you just heard I, it. Let's, let's just say this could be me. a total lie. No. I mean, because you, 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 you don't know. You don't know if this is true. He dragged not. him into his room, and yeah. he had a new dirty rag on his head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and he ripped it off oh, his head geez. once again because he heard Johnny did it. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, tell me what you see, Sam. Tell me what you see. And Sam is going... I'm Bozo! <laughs> Bozo! <laughs> no, that part didn't happen. That but, didn't happen. But, but no, he was going to have him arrested. He was going to have him arrested. The cops were there, and and he dropped the charges on them. Well, let me just say something. Can you we know call the police? This, can, you know, it's, this it's might terrible. not be true. Let me say something. That You are a good friend of mine, and Sam is a good friend of mine. I know you guys don't see eye to eye. But uh, I'm going to tell you something. I, uh, I, I care have about nothing against the man. All I right. think he's a very talented individual. I there told you, you that. You just were repeating a story that it's, happened. It's just a pity what's happened to him. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just say that, uh, <laughs> you know, I feel bad about it. What can I do? Listen, Dice is very honest and is a See, now I'll be in trouble because I laughed at this. Yeah, but it was a funny story. We don't know <laughs> if it's true. What can I say? And you're saying that he ripped off the thing and then said it's... No, no, he didn't no, do that. that but but he oh, did. Okay. He, he split his lip open. <laughs> 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 well, okay, listen.
And look that at Hot Tub Johnny over there. I still got Hot Tub. I'm going to hook you up to a lie the hot detector. Tub, the Hot Tub thing is, is 100%. So Sam told me it wasn't true. He just he wants to go on record as saying well, that. It's, it's in all fairness. It's humiliating. I mean, right. he's 138 pounds. Right. Sam at that time was 355 and a half. <laughs> How come you know his exact weight? Because comedians know these oh, things. I see. No, I'm, of course he's exaggerating. <laughs> now, all right, listen. I don't like to... I don't want to get into this. Yeah, we just want to be... I'm just trying to be friends to all neutral. comedians. And I figure if I talk about him a little, you know, maybe it'll help. I see what you're yeah. saying. I'm trying you're to help helping the guy. To create the mystique. You know, yeah, he calls know. me and he begs me for help, so what oh, am I going to do? Dear. I'm trying to help He actually him. called you? Yeah, months ago. That's how the whole thing started. What happened? He, he, he begged me to go on the road to open. You know, you remember thing. that whole oh, thing. Yeah, you remember that thing. Like All right, that. well, let's get off that. You know. But anyway, I'm in bed with this chick. And she's like, eh, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> she went wild. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Hey. All right, now, why did Hot Tub Johnny move away? Well, we're here with Downtown Ronnie Entertainment. Shifting. Why did Downtown Ronnie move over? Well, you know, you know, he's got a client in my movie. Yeah. You know, he's a manager. All right, okay. You know, All right, I just uh, want to we'll, know what's going on. Wheels Parisi. Do Michael me a favor, Wheels Dice. Parisi. Your movie is opening. Do you know Wheels? Yes. You do know Wheels? Yes, I do know him. Has he been on the show? Yeah. He was I got in a fight with Duff the other night. I... <laughs> no, no. You should have Wheels on the show. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. Now, the soundtrack is also available. See, that's the thing. You get the soundtrack, so you get familiar with the material a little bit. Then you go see the movie to see the actual concert experience. Hey, I thought you were going to play my song. You never played the song. We've we got time. We're going to do some news now. Not that I want to be a rock and roll star. Don't you want to do news? Yeah, well, you, you know, love to don't comment matter. on what's you know, going I don't on. read, I don't write, you know, I tell Yeah, you read plenty. Robin, come on, let's get into it with Dice. This is always a fun segment of the All show. Right. There Let was a, a witness, Howard. Yeah. There was a witness, according to I the attorneys back. for William Kennedy Smith. Yeah. They say there was a witness to the rape. Ah. Now, how do you get to be a witness to a rape? I don't know, but I have tape of the witness. Oh, really? Yeah, here he is. They gave you drugs? Well, I don't bet if you lie on me. That sounds like my cousin. <laughs> yes, it is your cousin. He is a witness in the rape. Well, can you believe this? You think there was a rape I told committed? you I'm black now, right, Robin? No, you didn't tell me that. I told him when we spoke in L.A., I explained. You said you like black women. You didn't tell me you were black. I've gone black all the way. <laughs> You're just about black with that tan. No, I'm telling you. You've changed I, a little bit. I gave bit. it up. I gave up the whole white thing. Really? You only yeah, go out with you, black women? You know women. what it was? You know what it was? I, uh... I went to one of these uh, whitey discos. Right. And I'm looking over there. You hear? I hear you. <laughs> at the dance floor. And it looks like a, a cerebral palsy contest going on. Right. In other words, the white people weren't dancing. And I'm they looking at dance. these white honkies. They look like CP victims. I'm looking at these whiteys like... And now you wonder why the chicks don't want to sleep with you. Right. And then you want to make fun of the black people. You know, you that's know, you, a jealousy thing. Wow, you, you're very much so into I black switched. people. So I switched. You know, he's become socially conscious. This yeah, listen to happened. him. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I gave the whole thing up. Next thing you'll be telling me you're gay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you'll never hear that. As a matter that of fact. Huh? Now, what about this Kennedy rape case? Yes, now they're saying there's a witness. So I guess the case is all sewn up. And the witness says nothing untoward happened. Now, really? here's a woman who says she was screaming, she was struggling, she broke Sounds a like rib. a good time. I mean, you know. <laughs> now, who is you this You know, witness? when they just lay there, it's like, you know. Why wouldn't the witness come forward? could have been forward? alone over here. Why wouldn't the witness come forward? Who is I the witness? I don't know. They don't say who the witness is. They just say there is a witness, and they have him. Dice, this is something you've got to worry about, because, you know, you are with many women, let's no, be honest. No, I don't have to worry about it. What? I got training. You know. Oh, that's exclusive now? It's been for a while. What are you what are you stunned about? Yeah, you what shut you us stunned? up. <laughs> what was that thing I told you I wanted to tell uh Howard last night? With the wife. What wife? Well you're you married. You are I'm married, yes. And you bang other chicks? No. It's not <laughs> what but I, I really heard. don't. Oh, you heard what? What, heard. what did what you did hear? You hear? Well, I'm trying oh, so to build your rep. Why don't you just oh, I see. Oh, you're just trying to build a reputation. I see. <laughs> yeah, you can't say So it. how much did this witness cost the Kennedys to uh, produce? All of a sudden, there's a witness uh, to this, this uh, rape? Yeah. Well, you know, there were 12 people at the compound that night. Well, hey, maybe there was a witness. Who knows? You know what I thought was interesting? Over the weekend, Teddy yes. Kennedy gave a press conference. 
And he said the reason he didn't talk to the police yeah. was because nobody ever told him they were talking about rape. He thought they were talking about some kind of a sexual harassment thing with uh, Willie. And nobody ever told him it was anything as serious as rape. So in the um, main, I guess you could say, the Kennedys just generally ignore the police. Mm -hmm. Unless it's something really serious. <laughs> well, here's Kennedy at the press conference. Era, you lonely lush. Oh, you've done it now. You've done it now, Ted. Era, era, Joni, don't get, get excited. Yeah, yeah, President Kennedy and uh, Eddie. Yeah, there you. it is. Yeah, some press conference. So anyway, he, most people are saying he did himself more harm than good giving that press conference. Please touch it, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he, he should be quiet. <laughs> so anyway, meanwhile in the news, Michael Landon is making medical history. Ty, it's too bad you don't have cancer. Our ratings would be through the roof. <laughs> I can't oh, find any that, guests with cancer. Real, but I got a lot of things. <laughs> Carson got a 10.1 rating with Michael Landon's cancer. He's trying to get Lee Remick, I hear. Is that right? Yeah. He's tracking her down. He's tracking her down as we speak. <laughs> well, we have we don't oh, have Michael want... Landon, but yeah. we have Michael Landon's doctors. Oh, cool. Michael Landon is the first patient with pancreatic cancer to take this new treatment that's only been tried on a few people. And uh, they're hoping that it will do something for Michael. Here's uh, doctor... He's going to be fine. You know, everybody gets carried away the minute they get a little disease. <laughs> oh, really? Here's doctor... Oh, I got light lid to the left. I got a flip back neck. Hey, downtown I, I Ronnie has crabs. We think that'll help us in the ratings? <laughs> is that true downtown? Well, I tell you, the, the blue ointment's a little rough, but the smell is not too bad. Hey, we got to get some Earl. <laughs> yeah. Put I a little Earl on it. I had right? Joe Ireland about two yeah, weeks Ronnie? before she I, passed yeah, yeah. away, and then it's she like, canceled. <laughs> we go over there, you hear? Yeah. Well, All here's right. Dr. Preston to tell us what uh, this new treatment is supposed to do. All right, here's Michael Landon's doctor. Everybody listen. Come on. Come, maybe he'll make it. Hey, come Even on. Mr. Grash is yeah. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Here we go. Michael is active. Uh, he's with his family. He's uh, doing some work. And, Are you playing these uh, in order? He's enjoying yeah. himself. Uh, we're trying to maintain and improve that quality of life which he has at the present time. See? Hold on. Is there another one? Yeah, you didn't play the first one. No, I played number five first. Everything he has done so utterly. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I don't know what's going on. Hey, this here. number, number five and number six. I played number five well, first. Well, that was supposed to be number six. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now, here's Michael Landon's doctor again. Right. Would you pay attention? Who knows what he'll say this time? You're a pretty callous guy that you won't listen to Michael Landon's doctor. <laughs> no, really, that's disrespectful. I got my own doctors. This is investigational. It has been received by other patients in the past, but yet it is not yet to the stage where we know exactly how effective it is with any individual patient's tumor. So maybe he'll live. Anyway, what they he's do is live. they take this he's, he's stuff type. and they inject it into your body in, flat, in fat globules. Mm. And then type. it's supposed to attack your uh, tumor. Yeah. So that's what they're hoping it will do with Michael Landon. But uh, they told that Michael that he has that no of, none of the treatments that usually work for everybody else would work for him. It's the bright so lights. He's really he's out there. He's out there, Yeah, huh? he can just about take anything. He takes coffee enema. It's like... You know, you ever see this, Dice, that a lot of these guys who get the disease right away, their doctors start get humiliating and giving them coffee enemas and peach well, pit. let me uh, explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I just met somebody. Yeah. I'm flying in. Oh, on a fancy airline, the MGM thing over right. there. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Boy, you really mad. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you meet a lot of people. Right. Who'd you meet? Um, I see Robert Wagner. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So I go over. I never met Robert Wagner. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hear you. And I go, um, <laughs> Mr. Wagner, I'm Dice. And he's looking at me like, who? N never heard of you. <laughs> you know, well, maybe he ain't into the comedy thing, you know, but he's like, well, nice to meet you anyway, the whole thing there, but. And uh, now the guy's wearing the crown. I got to throw him roses, you know? I'm standing there like, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I really like jazz on the teeth thing is Alexander Monday. Yeah, I hear you. And now his wife, Jill uh, St. John over there, is looking at me like, who's this jack off? Right. Yeah, I hear you. All right, I there mean, you, you go. That. I got you. All right, listen, let me take a short break, Dice. Thanks for sharing that. And when we come back,
We'll get up to I more mean, news. You know, I mean, you know, I go over. You want to have a drink, this and that. What he blew you off? And is he's what you like said. standing up, and I'm like, sit down, you bastard! I'll kill you. <laughs> hey, listen, don't <laughs> you understand? Go among the bulls. <laughs> Dice, don't you understand what happens? There are certain celebrities. They act like they don't even know what planet we're yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, I'm over there. Hey, yeah, hey, he could have been nice you. with you. you I know, hear you. Eating a little of that Thai bet food. Yes. You know, and I'm like trying to be nice to the people over there. With right. this and that. And, uh, you could have acted like you I mean, didn't I'll know the guy. I'm making rain in that plane. You could have acted. Yeah, I, I got you. I mean, All how right. far you want to take it? Robin, we'll be I'll back. Martial law over there. Right after. I mean, I got to stand over there like a real jerk off, and he's looking at me like, yeah, I did the thief thing. Right. Well, you know what it is. He thinks he's a bigger star than you, but. Uh, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, look at the jokes. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Just wanna... We are back. <laughs> That's... How many cars you have? What do you mean, how many cars do I have? I'm doing a commercial. I have three. Is that a bad question? What kind of, uh, you don't want to say what kind of cars you got. Well, I could care less. I'll tell you well, anything you want to know. What kind of cars you got? Uh, you know, I don't want to get you crazy. Go ahead. What do you got? Well, I asked you what first. What do you got, a Ferrari? I mean, how you far got you the want new to take... Ferrari? No, I don't, I don't We go. figured out the kind of money you made in the past three years. Tell me. Okay, last year. Let me year. explain something. Don't you, explain you anything. You know, people don't think I work hard. But, no it one's took, putting you down for it. It took me nearly three years to make $27 million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Three years. <laughs> you know, that's nearly 100 shows. That's great. Let me tell you something. That is not far off $27 million. Yeah, this I guy wouldn't doubt it. was the highest grossing. You know, and now they want me to work more. He was making a million dollars a night. Mm, and how many nights did he work? 27 nights. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> no, am I, am I wrong? Dad? Fred? Dad, you don't have to answer nothing. <laughs> we take the, uh, what is it, the ninth? That's a fa Hey, be proud of it. You got a Ferrari? The fifth and the fifth. Fifth. Dad's taking the ninth, so we can still question it. All right, so then we can call you out on the fifth. <laughs> he took the ninth? You know what the ninth is? Well, That's your right you, to bear arms. What's the matter with you? Bread. You just gave that up? You make big bread. <laughs> you, just, you just pleaded the ninth amendment. <laughs> you make big bread. Fred, what is the ninth amendment? I don't know. That's when you shoot people. I, I think know. you gave up. I think you're allowed to covet your wife's neighbor. <laughs> listen, uh, you, you make big bread. I do all right. No, but, you make uh, big bread. Come on. Listen, let Come me on, tell you don't something. Don't jerk me off. Let me tell you one. something. I make a good living, Stop but nowhere near what off. you make. You yeah, make a fortune. Yeah, but look what you do. I mean, <laughs> I do something stupid, right? No, I mean, you, you think know, this I, is stupid? I agree. I, I got to take buses, planes. Oh, please. You get in your oh, car. You come really in here. Tough. Yeah. Nice, cushy. No, you got a real rough. Let's get back to the news, Dice. It's the New York Seltzer guy. He's got bread. Dice Rules opens the theaters this Friday. Soundtrack available. How come you don't do any endorsements? Um, Does anybody ever ask you? Commercials. Do, do they? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Who asked them? There's a few. There's a few cigarette companies. Does he do them? I was offered a cigarette ad. Not yet. We don't want to do it. I was offered a cigarette ad in Japan. My agent turned it down, said I, that he didn't want me with that image. I go, I'll take that image. Well, yeah, I might go to Japan to do a commercial. But why would they have me in Japan? I, they, no one knows me in Japan. That's an Doesn't interesting matter. question. They'd like your image. The image they like. Yeah. So why is Dice waiting? Dome. Since people are asking, why is he not doing it? Yeah, why are you not doing it, Dice? Well, uh, how much bread do you need? You know right. what I mean? You're set for life now. Yeah. What do I need? Right. Hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Nice. Think I should do the garden again? We're thinking about that. Sure, why, why not? Why not? I'll go to that. Yeah? Sure. I hear you. How much money you'll make there? How much money will you make? Oh, man. Enough for the cab ride there. You're damn right. Look at downtown Ronnie. He's ready to put on a shiv in your uh, side. You want to be the opening act? Can't believe it. The featured act? Nah. Why not? Because I don't do that. What do you mean you don't do that? Because I could, you know, I saw at stadiums myself. So what do I, what do I, 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 you I hear saw me? the Nassau tape. Yeah, so. How many people were at that? 20 something what thousand? What was that? Tennis what? match. <laughs> That's tennis what we do. <laughs> That's what we do in concert. You want to get a tennis thing there, I'll do it. You don't tell one friggin' joke. I don't tell jokes. <laughs> you do tell jokes. Though. I don't tell jokes. Uh, that you want be, me to tell jokes? Do you want Howard as the opener? Well, they, he's not an opener. He's a star. So I don't want to like be the opener. Special appearance. Why would I want that? That's great. I'll go and enjoy you that. working for no, once. I don't want to... Cool. Please. That would be very cool. What do you think? Jackie, Jackie and you? Jackie would like to be the opener. You know? Why don't you offer Jackie that slot? Well, Jackie's a great comic. What do you think I want? I think Jackie would be insulted if you offered him that. 
Jackie's a headliner himself over at Chuckles. All right, so do me a favor. <laughs> you headline the friggin' gun. and let me go up through 10 minutes and then watch you sweat for an hour going. There you go. All right, there's 20,000 people. Now what do I do? The Dice, don't you want to hear what else is in the news? Come on. I Come on, we have fun. Two he doesn't care it. that Winnie Mandela is going to jail. Thank God. Oh, now good. she won't be here teaching our blacks all those wicked things. But I will because I am black. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm the black man's comic. Well, then you should I'm the care. black man's comic. This Winnie Mandela came here and started revving our blacks up <laughs> and getting them wild. They were going wild when she showed up. That's a show. And, you Robin, see? you know this to be true. You should, Winnie should open for you. Now. Yeah, why don't you get Winnie Mandela open up for you? Listen, from what I understand, you can warm up an audience. what she did to that little kid... She kidnapped him or well, something? Well, she was convicted for kidnapping. She? And as an accessory to assault, and they gave I mean, her six years in jail. And she comes here, and what was that thing she was yelling out? Amandla. Amandla. Well, it wasn't a day later, our own blacks are running around the streets yelling, Amandla. Amandla. No one even knew what it meant. And yet our own blacks are yelling, Amandla. <laughs> and I said, you know, leave it to her to come over from South Africa. We pay $2 million to get her up on a stage to yell, Amandala. What is that, a soft drink? No, it means squeegee. Amandala. Oh, oh, stop it. I don't know what it means. What does it mean? All I'm saying is that we How have enough... How I know? We have enough of a I racial problem. Squeegee. Amandala. Do you understand that we have a racial problem in this city? And for, for well, This is what I'm trying to... I'm trying to break that. Why can't whites and blacks live together? What do we need a woman coming I'm, over here from I'm, South Africa? We, over here is not South Africa. This is Africa. why you wanted her thrown in jail. You're well, damn right I did. I'm trying to break here. that whole thing. It's called thing. civil disobedience. <laughs> Racism is that? no good. Racism well, anyway, is no good. Yesterday... Yesterday, when Winnie came out of the courtroom, she yeah, was... That's uh, why I only date black women now. Please, Clarice. Dice, let's hear what happened. Read it by I'm supporters. I'm over here. <laughs> you call me up. Come do the show. This is the fun. Here. Now we it's can like comment. Dice, shut your mouth. We can comment <laughs> on the news. I'm explaining about black women. I got quivers here <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's going crazy for me, and I can't make a move. That's why I've locked my myself in this my room. Back. I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. I mean, uh, we could pick a Cincinnati man. What a vibe. All right, go ahead. The crowd outside the courtroom <laughs> greeted Winnie. Let's hear that. Dennis Office. You know Dennis? Yeah. You know. Dennis Office? Dennis Offer. <laughs> what is he yeah. talking Hey, I might not be the handsomest guy, but I mean, I could pick a room. <laughs> All right, listen to the crowd greeting Winnie Mandela. <laughs> Boop, boop. I don't hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> that doesn't sound all that great. It sounds like a black disco. Doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Put some music under that. That's anyway, right. So um, <laughs> she was still getting a lot of support, and they say you have to look askance at uh, such a ruling from a court, a South African court, when it's Winnie Mandela. But just imagine, her husband spent 20 years in jail. He finally gets out, and now she's going in. Uh, you know, you, you, hey, Fred, play some of that disco music. Let's see if it sounds like a black disco. Put some of that disco music on. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it, money. What's up? That's it. Hey, do you hear? That's Winnie's it, going sister. to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Jay Monticio. <laughs> All right, I like big go. girls. So anyway, everybody was asking, now what is Nelson going to do? Is this going to really uh, mess him up? Make him crazy? Is this going to make him forget the whole struggle to oh, free South Porsche? Africa? How's he going to get any gay sheesh? <laughs> you know, the guy gets out of jail and he can't get gay sheesh. The least she could do is keep herself out of jail for the guy. Anyway, Helen Sussman, who is... Uh, some government official in South Africa and who has known Nelson yeah, all these years had this to say. There's Helen Sussman. She knows Mandela. Oh, come on, guys. Get into it. He gets bored if we're not talking about his career about for a second. Uh, I don't, I don't, Did you want to know about the news? Do you want to hear what saying, she has to say? I'm having a good time. I hear you under your breath there doing those little voices of what yours. What did I say? Doing that. Something that, about Cucamonga Balls. He was Cucamonga Balls <laughs> and doing the thing about... Uh, How come you never have Jim Barry on this show? Who? Jim Barry, the comic. Who is that? Not interested. Oh, okay. I don't know him. Oh, what do you want me to, uh, you know, if I want to take it with him? <laughs> Nelson, I'm sure will be emotionally upset about the whole thing, but uh, yeah. he's also, you know, English. very down to earth in many ways, and mm. he realizes that the future of South Africa uh, is going to take precedence over his own personal problems. Ah. If my wife went to jail, 
I'd be out having sex. Oh, Problems. stop it. Call 1-800-LOCKMAN. <laughs> what? If you need a lock. Larry right. Winnicor. 1-800-LOCKMAN. <laughs> what is he doing, commercial? I don't know, man. Yeah, he's my friend. I thought he was just putting out a message to Winnie Mandela. Yeah. He's the Call 1-800-LOCKMAN. Uh, the first locksmith to ever put up his own billboards. The big question. You appeared on Friday you night know, videos. Dice, Larry Winnicott. You're one eight hundred lock. You know we have enough commercials on this show. To work out. Hey Dice, you're good at the news. Why are you blowing it off? I don't know. We it's waited for you for the news. It's a call for and you we're never here. doing that you're again funny. because no, well, he does this all the time. He was supposed to come in at seven thirty. That's why I waited. And then, <laughs> oh, you know, Johnny and me, we're over I there. Johnny and you over I there. I had a show over there. He had to <laughs> blow out his hair with like a vacuum. Go ahead, Robin. Yeah, anyway, Jose Canseco call. is oh, tired of this. answering questions about Madonna. Jose Canseco, the baseball player. Yeah. Right. What about Madonna? He's an Oakland uh, A's player. She's diking and, it up uh, now, right? What do you mean? What? What do you That's mean? That's what she's... she said. No, she's not doing that. She said she had a couple of experiences. <laughs> yeah, that's diking it up. <laughs> you ever meet Madonna? Shut up, pop is pleased. Did you ever? Did you ever meet her? No, but I would. You know, she never called me or nothing. That with the whole thing there. But she would she would uh, put you down. Though, you man. never she, went backstage to uh, say her me. concert was neat. She'd make you kiss other guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I'd make it with Madonna. She, uh, you know, she wanted to throw it around a little. Yeah. So anyway, Jose yeah. was seen coming out of her apartment. I'd probably be too dirty for her. <laughs> That's how she'd act. You know, like oh, he's filthy. Oh, she uh, likes ball players. Do you get along with Sandra Bernhard? Yeah. And how you Sandra. like? Yeah, I dig her. So anyway, he was seen coming out of her apartment over the weekend. Right. So at a Madonna's uh, apartment. Yeah. Yeah. And he just I got back with his him. wife a few days ago, I guess. He yeah. and his wife were having some problems, but they had gotten it straightened out. Right. And then all of a sudden, he's tripping out at the Madonna Hotel. Right. And uh, they caught him. Some photographers happened to be there, and they caught they got pictures of him. I think my yeah. wife should give me a waiver if something big like that ever happened to me. <laughs> That's what well, I said got, to her. Well, how big on, do they have to be? You got something stuck Superstar. on Superstar. Superstar, my wife should just say, hey, this okay, is beyond. Okay, not just regular yeah, stars. This right. is like you got a few stories to tell. Right, this is good for my career. Uh, like Trini <laughs> tells me, I could, you know, from the waist up, I could do whatever I want. Really? Yeah. Really? Now that's a Get trick. her on the phone. I want to hear her yeah, say that. Yeah, let me that. speak to that, Trini. I want to uh, hear her say that. Uh, she told me she had to do something to <laughs> She's busy today. I want to hear her say that. Anyway, now when he goes to the ballpark to play the Yankees last night, oh, one yeah. of the, the fans started yelling from the stands, Hey, Jose, how's Madonna? How's Esther? That's Esther's wife. What's that, an impression? That was good. <laughs> hey, you know, that sounded a little like Dice. That's like a Dice thing. I think it was hey, Dice. Hey, how's Esther? <laughs> Do that again, Ron. Hey, Madonna. You hey, know. Esther. Hey, how's Madonna? How's Esther? Yeah, him and up. Did you ever see her lay out in a, in a like, uh... A penthouse? Yeah. With the Madonna? Scrag pictures? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> the Scrag pictures. Uh, mm. I wouldn't touch her with Merv's hands. Oh, please. I'm not looking even like think that. twice oh, about it. And really, yeah. now I might touch her. She looks She's a little a better. She's number, Madonna. Yeah, you know. I'd do her. I didn't, I didn't see the movie yet, you know. You know, but uh, but I'm going to see that. I'm not seeing it. Why you not? know why? Because she's not so outrageous. Everything she does, she tries to be outrageous. She takes it from you, right? Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. What? Just because she stands there and makes two guys kiss? Who cares? Oh, uh, come on. There's nothing like that. For I guarantee you, if, if we all went together to the movie to see Madonna, we'd sit there and goof on it the whole time. Hey, we'd have a good time. You know what you could do. Yeah, oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Not that bad a shape. Goodbye. Anyway, uh, Jose You think got she's outrageous, Robin? Over the over what, because she sits there and talks I to... I didn't say anybody was outrageous. You saw the movie. I don't anything is outrageous. What did she talk to Sandra I... Bernard about, about uh, what? About what? What did she talk to Sandra's Sa outrageous. What does she say? Sandra talks about yeah, Sandra's this girl. Sandra's pretty outrageous. What does she say? she's doing. Yeah. And she figures the girl is... No, uh... I wouldn't pay admission to see that. <laughs> yeah, I could pass see, on to that. To me, that's entertainment. You yeah. know what I mean? The girl is uh, probably cheating on her or something. I forget. So tell everyone what happened with Jose Canseco. So anyway, at the other night at little. the game, yeah. Jose was g upset. Because this guy was yelling this stuff from the stands. Right. And uh, his manager had to go into the uh, dugout and restrain him from going after the guy. You want to talk to the guy who yelled this stuff out at Conseco? We got him? We got him on the phone. He's a fan of ours. Dice, you'll be interested to know that this is... Hello? Yeah. What's your name? Kenny. You're on the air, Kenny. You are the man? You're the guy who started yelling at Jose Conseco? Uh, I wasn't yelling at him. What is it? You don't have a job? Why are you busy at the ballpark? <laughs> well, I went to enjoy the, balls, uh, like the boys this summer. 
you know, went down there. Like, to what ride. is your job? What do you do for a living? I'm a telemarketer. Telemarketer. So yes. you market what television? Uh, no, no couches. A uh, various stuff. All right. So you so you have free time to go to the ball game? Well, seven thirty at night. You know, I get up work five o'clock. And you're not tired from a day of of telemarketing? You oh. don't have to get ready for the next day. So what did you say to Conseco? I didn't say nothing to him. The thing was, uh, what happened was all the fans were heckling him, right? Yeah. And what got me ticked was uh, they considered me a heckler. I hear you. Okay, and that was wrong. So he, he came over to me, pointed at me, and said, you, you make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm going to... Beat your ass. No, he said, you make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm going to... Uh, Oh, a, uh, a banging in the head or something like that, he says. Right. So, you know, they like to... The well, you know, banging in the head could mean a whole different thing. <laughs> what racial slur was you, were you making? Huh? What racial slur he were you making? He wasn't saying anything. I, not well, one, let, let him answer the question. Not one word. I was saying to Jose Canseco, everybody was busting about the gun. Uh, uh, you know, I go back to Cuba. Uh, Madonna, where's Esther, where's this, where's that? And all of a sudden, like, he looks at me because I'm in his... Uh, like his line of eyesight, you know? And I was the biggest guy like, over there, I guess. Like, what, what, do you work out? Huh? You work out? With the Patagate? Uh, for me, I don't work out. <laughs> oh, you don't work out. No. You're, just, you're just naturally you're like You're naturally big. big? Like Dice? No, I got a big belly. Oh, well, then you're not like Dice. Sure, let's get to the point. I mean, I think you're dragging out yeah, a non-story here. What's the deal? Is there a So did he punch or you or something? I'm a little at time. No, no, no. All right. You were ejected. You were the guy they threw out? Right. Like you, right. I could put like his finger on my face. I know? hear you. I just simply said to him, I said, it wasn't me that said this, you know? Then that's when, like, the fans get on, like, you know, I, you know, like his case to get on. I hear you. So. All right, oh, so what nothing happened. story. He's going on Nine Broadcast Plaza with that story. Oh, man. <laughs> that's some story. Let me tell you. So what are you doing? I heard you retained a lawyer or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, how could you have a lawyer? The guy didn't touch you. What you got a lawyer for? Threaten me. Well, hey, y'all, get, get out of here. Go. Let it go. Okay, well, you, no. you make a nice living, don't you? No, I don't. No? Oh, so you're looking for some bucks? No, no, no. Well, what would you get a lawyer Why for? do you have a lawyer if the guy didn't punch you? Because he said, I'm going to kick your ass? You really think he's going to come after you? No, no, I don't think he would. No. So, so what do you have a lawyer for? You just, like, spending money on lawyers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hire me. I, I, I'm good with my mouth. Oh, boy, three against one here. I'm in trouble. No, I don't understand. Why did you hire a lawyer if the guy didn't do anything to you? No, no, no. I... People hire lawyers now for anything. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you? For, wait. But it, for what? For what? What am I going to hire a lawyer for? To take my garbage out? <laughs> you know. What kind of lawyer you did you get? You have no case. Okay, listen, guys, I got to run. I got to run. What kind uh, of case do you I have? I can't talk about the case. Huh? What's the matter? You can't talk about the case? No, no, no. Is that the problem? Yes. <laughs> Do you have a, what kind of, what are you filing charges about? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You know, <laughs> I, you know it's no comment on that, Howard. They're you, pouring on. Do you have a, what kind of, what are you filing charges about? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You know, <laughs> I, you know it's no comment on that, Howard. They're you, pouring over the legal books You now. lost the case just saying what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even talk to Howard? He'll destroy any chance you got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, it was nice talking to you. Are these all people? Did he make? Did I don't understand how Are you have a case. People? No, wait a second. I don't understand how you have a case. I don't understand the case you have. You you've got a lawyer to do what? This never happened. This, this never happened to me uh, before, so I don't know. No, I want to understand what how happened? people in our society. I know people who sue. Were you uh, really adversely affected by having to leave the ball game? Are you suing for the price of the ticket? Uh. What are your damages? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, well, you got somebody over there. What do you got? Your lawyer there? No, no, no. I got a car <laughs> out there. Wait for me. What do you got? The oh. paddock? All right, guys. Got to run. Got to run. Okay, oh, it was nice right. talking to you. Andrew, God bless you. All right, All right thanks. Bye. Huh. Who else? Can we see well, who else? He's, 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 I gotta uh, take a got break. a lawyer. Hit another button. Come on. All right, let's... Robin, there's an exclusive. Let's take he's one got a random lawyer. call. Well, we'll take a call in a few minutes. Let me just All get right. done with the news and... Um... Uh, get Gary in here to empty my ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gary, empty Dice's You're ashtray. You're not taking care of the Dice, man. Gary, why is Dice's uh, ashtray full? Why do I got to be put through this? <laughs> you know I smoke. They give me a little baby ashtray. <laughs> You've you know, already Johnny, had nine Johnny's cigarettes. Johnny's got laryngitis. You're going to be in Carson very soon if you keep smoking like that. I hear you. What's the matter? <laughs> no, but look what I'm smoking. Carlton. I, I can't hear you. Okay. Uh, Jane Weedland Carlton. is here. Jane Ultra Wee low. Yeah. 100s. Jane Weedland's here? If you here? smoke, it's not good, but if you have to... Smoke Carlton. Dice, please. Oh, we got yeah, a lot of things to do. He's endorsing cigarettes on our It looks airway. like she's ready to show you yesterday's outfit. 
Oh, really? Well, oh. She's wearing a denim jacket that's mostly open. Okay, so all right, all right. Get, get through the commercials quick. Okay. Ice Clay. Robin, set this up. Do, were you going to do this in the news about Jane? No. Jane Weedland? I didn't know anything about this until you told me. Uh, I thought you were going right. to have it in the news. <laughs> Jane Weedland. Of the go go Of the Go-Go's. Is it, like, loves animals so much, like she does disruptive things? Well, you know, she's a member of PETA. PETA. I really like these Carlton's. You know, they don't make you choke. You better quiet your father down. He doesn't understand. Dad, what, what are you doing? What, what did I tell you? <laughs> hey, what's the use in talking? <laughs> you know, you go up and back every day with these people. Yeah, and they don't understand show business. You know? I like your father. But sometimes you got to get him in line. My father's great. If you can't get your father in line, you know, he works for you. you got to get him in line. No, no, I work for him. Do you boss your father around? You ever yell at your father? You have to Believe yell me, at him. I work for him. If I didn't, I wouldn't have a dime. Really? Right, Dad, I'd spend it all. You, you would. And tell him what I'd spend it on. Sweat clothes. So Jane <laughs> really... A shirt? Thousand. $30. I oh, cut Jane. the neck and the sleeves off like... Oi. Oi. Who's that big dude with Oi. you? My bodyguard. Oh, man. Hey, go sit over there, bodyguard. What's the matter with you? Yeah, sit down, Janie. Hey, Jane, let me look at you. Mm. Come over here so I can look. Come over here. She is so I cute. I knew you'd want me to do this. Honey. You're taking yeah, off, yeah, wait, yeah. she's taking off her clothes. Her voice is so grating, it just makes the come acids here. in Whoa. your belly bubble. You taking off your pants? Nah. Oh, come on. No, I just have boring underwear on. Can I make out with you? Later, after the show. Thanks. She's really very pleasant. <laughs> she's cute. Hard mark. Do you know Dice? <laughs> Do you know Dice Clay? Hi, Hi there. Do you know me? No. I this is know. Dice. A break and she break. <laughs> Do you like Dice? I mean, I don't know you personally. Oh, no, I know, I know. You, you know like Dice? Him. You I live don't... alone? Or you have a problem with him? I don't, I'm not familiar How can she have a problem with work. me? She's sitting wearing a bra. <laughs> <laughs> How can she have a problem with me? <laughs> are those breast implants? No. No, no. They're cute. Thank they you. are. They are cute. They're, they're happy bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. This is Glad Dan I want my baggies. You Who is that guy? Dan Matthews from PETA who took his clothes off yesterday. Oh, he, he took too? his clothes off yeah. too. You guys How are come naughty? he didn't come here with no top? Let me explain <laughs> what Jane did. Oh, Johnny. He's going to strip later. Mean Johnny's gonna go Do you mind taking your bowls. pants off? No. So we can see your weenie? No, <laughs> hey, it's a political statement. You, Come on. You, you <laughs> Dice uh, eats animals, man. I would take my pants off and get them to stop. It's in the chicken, man. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's in the chicken. No yeah. Here, so Let me understand something, Jane. Yes, Howard. Jane of the Go-Go's. Although you guys broke up again, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I know. You tell me. Yeah, it's tell a day-to-day Dice, day thing. Tell yeah. Dice what you did yesterday. Yeah. Tell everyone. And tell Robin. We snuck into Oscar De Laurentiis' grand opening of his new fur salon. Line. No, his, his line of furs. Uh huh. And then yeah. when the show started, we threw our clothes off and then we jumped up on stage with a banner that said we'd rather go naked than wear fur. But you weren't naked. Well, we had like, you know, see-through little things on. You had brown panties? No, it was like a little, you know, ladies' nylons, it was like a little thing made out of that. But are you married? Yeah, I was oh, married last time. I'm still I said. married. Mm, too bad. Now they don't want to talk to you. Hey, hubby would be pleased to see you now. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of this whole animal rights thing? Seriously, what do you think? I mean, it, you into mean? the whole animal thing, the non-fair. Do you eat animals? Thing? You eat animals? You mean like, um, like I'll go into a restaurant, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'll have like, um, I think Dice eats Jake. giraffe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think he's eating endangered species. I'll eat a little species. like the pussy over there. <laughs> yeah. No, what do you eat? Seriously. Well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not you, really into. Did you ever see? Would the you buy a fur? Film? Would you buy a fur for Trini? <laughs> does, fur, does Trini have any furs? Yeah, she does. She does. You bought them for her. Yeah. You have. Well, what fur am I gonna coats. do? The thing's dead already. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's it gonna hang in a store? No, what I'm saying is though. You know, I mean, I won't go out and 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 kill like. Uh, See, I won't let my wife you know, wear like a, fur. a bear and make her like a bear coat. You know. I won't let my but wife. If he's already, what if I, I mean a bear gets old and he dies too? You hear? I understand. You get sick, you know. If you find him dead, it's okay. You get a right? stroke, uh, you cut off the hair. What so you you're saying doing? you're saying that Trini only wears coats from dead animals? Roadkill. Roadkill. She got roadkill coat. Because Jane, you know, I I can dig where you're coming from and everything, but it's, it's like hard. save the whales. Because like I won't let my wife wear her fur coat. Save the I whales. She has yeah. one. She though. had one. And I was against it because I said, how's it going to look politically? That if I'm walking around with you with a fur coat and they start spray painting you red. <laughs> That'd be and funny. And stuff. I mean, I'm going to feel like a real jerk. <laughs> Do you like comedy? Yeah. 
Oh, so you're going to be at Pasquale and Wong's this Friday night. Hey. Two shows. I'm going home today. Where are you going, L.A.? Yeah, that's where I live. But you came here specifically mm. for the Oscar de la Renta okay. opening, huh? Yes. Where do you live in L.A.? Um, well, kind of outside L.A., in the suburbs. Well, where? I'm not going to tell no, you. No, the city, not the, you know, the address. The city? Agura. Mm. It's a famous town. <laughs> She's got a lot of money. She's in the Go-Go's. She so made what? tons of dough. And she wrote a lot of those songs, right? Yeah. And you're the one who broke up the Go-Go's because you thought uh, Belinda was a big pain in the ass. I did not. I quit, and then they broke up. I couldn't help it. And what that. are you doing now? Taking my clothes off a lot. Charming. <laughs> <laughs> they make a Belinda Carlisle joke in the uh, Madonna movie, I know, too. I saw what do they say? Time. They're all jealous of her. Um, no, you like one Madonna? Of the, yeah, I love her. One of the backup She's singers hot. is She's singing, uh, ooh, baby, you know, what, what whatever. Her and warmest. another one is beating on her back, so she has that quiver. Oh. That <laughs> Belinda over, hey. has in her voice. Nice. Yeah. But those girls, at least one of them worked for Belinda, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Jane thinks, like, you know, Jane was writing all this stuff, and she said, hey, I'm going to go solo and dump these broads. Well, she had a hit. You did have a hit. Yeah. Tell Dice your hit. Rush Hour. Ever hear Rush Hour? Yeah, well, that's the trains, rush hour. <laughs> no, I'm saying you ever hear it, rush hour. Yeah, well, you know, when you get on the trains in the morning. Sing a little rush hour. Go ahead. No. Jane, go ahead. No, you Come sing on, it. Do it. No, you sing Come it. You're better on. than I am. No. I can't sing it. Come on, no. sing it. No. No. Sing a little. No. Well, you, uh, you know, you'll sing. take your clothes off, you but you won't. You don't shove cash right. down a panties. That's right. They do I don't sing for free. Oh, well, how much do you want for a little rush hour? Sing or I'll take strip. Collection. I'll take off all my clothes. Okay, here he comes. Come on, Robin, he's going to do it. I would love to get oh, naked with you. Do. Look at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking ready to eat you up. I swear what, to God. Oh, uh, not lately, no. Well, why not? What, I, what are you, I got what lazy. Are you yourself perfect? No, I know. Mean, no, <laughs> you're, you're good. You, I mean, you, you're so antagonistic. You look nice. Thank you. Well, that's how I make millions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to sing a note, baby. Not that I can't. <laughs> but uh, you. I started out as a tap dancer. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Did you really? Hard well, to tap, imagine. ballet. Re I Jane, never saw that. Politically, now yeah. speaking, yes. aren't you mad at Dice in some way, or are you into Dice? I mean, you must I not... She's heard. into my humor. Come no, on, look No, you know what I've heard? <laughs> Weren't you I've running around defacing those him. posters? Weren't you defacing <laughs> Dice's posters? Please, no. No, I have better what things have you to heard? do. Wonderful things, right? No, I, I mean, you get a lot of publicity. Neg yeah. Mostly negative. I, think. I like them. He's funny. I'm not saying anything for or against what he does because I haven't heard it. I heard like 10 seconds of a record and I can't, it was something about him. What did you think sex. when uh, Sinead O'Connor said something bad things about Dice? <laughs> what did you, you think about that bald moron Sinead O'Connor when she said those things about Dice? <laughs> I wasn't really, you know, she was there tonight. She oh, was, I told you that joke. I yeah, you did that You right. know, when she combed her head and pulled up her pants. Right. <laughs> See, she's uh, laughing. She right, didn't have a exactly. problem with dice. <laughs> she needs a, she's not bad looking. You know, put a wig on her head, she'll look like a real chick. Hey, Robin, that guy from the Fur Association is on the line. He wants to yell at them. Oh, good. Oh, Let's talk great. to him. All right, all right, here. Watch this. This is always good. Is Yellow, this Oscar De La Renta? Is blue there? Is this Oscar De La Renta? You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Howard. Is this Oscar? Uh, no, Steve oh. Coward from uh, the Greater Fur New York Association. And, ah. uh, would like to speak to Jane Whelan about what it's like to break the law constantly. What is she doing exactly? Well, she uh, snuck in using illegal press, uh, press badges and uh, went into a private show and uh, decided to make a fool out of herself, her and Dan Matthews. Yeah, so? Well, you don't like chicks? You don't like seeing a naked chick? Well, I like seeing a naked chick, so but... Uh, what, what are we going to take? Personally, I think with her body, she'd look much better with fur on. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, She's got a great body. Hey, come on. Don't lie about that. Well, come hey, on. you're being a bit of a crybaby. You left right, one in the right. sink later. Jane, let him have it. Me. Come on. Well, Yell at him. Personally, I'd like to ask Jane, uh, uh, first off, Howard and, uh, and the Dice Man. I know both you guys wear leather. So yes. what's the difference between wearing, feather, uh, wearing leather and wearing fur? And wearing feather. They actually have a thousand two hundred leathers. <laughs> and he goes out, but he makes sure they're from dead animals. But it's not like it's I go to the cow leather. and say, look, <laughs> Jane, what is it? You put always some clam studs up. in your ass. What? Hey, Jane, you always <laughs> clam up during these things. These I do? Yeah. Always? Let Jane. this guy so have it. You're against wearing, like, leather and stuff? No, Jane is. Dice. Jane is definitely. <laughs> oh, you're against it. Jane's against eating meat, and Jane's against wearing leather, and Jane's Jane's against eating chicken. Well, and what do you fish. What do you have against wearing leather? So what? 
I just don't want to wear dead cows. I think it's gross. Well, what would you want to wear? Like, uh, she wants to dead wear plastic fish? that pollutes the atmosphere. Oh, Mr. What? Environmentalist here. Well, tell me about it, Jane. What are you, Mr. Earth Day? Jane, let me ask you something. What about when Peter killed all those animals at its sanctuary? I don't know what you're talking you about. You know dear. exactly what I'm talking Save about. Save the seal, baby. Please Save fill the us seal. in. Jane, you know all about how Peter killed, uh, decided to kill animals that they couldn't fit into their sanctuary in Maryland. Do you have a day job? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do to Look make at what fuck? he's tracking down. <laughs> oh man, what does this guy do? Hey, the guy's in the fur association. He's got to defend fur. Here. Oh, so he wants to sell fur. He's I getting upset. The Dyson industry Dyson is getting hurt. Can, can you give me like a discount? If I like... Dyson, Jane, don't put your jacket on. Man, it's just hanging up. Oh, good. Jesus. Because we're a responsible industry that really cares. All right, like all right. What? what do you yeah, care about? Yeah, but you killed like old fur, right? You don't well, take like a brand new uh, well, I want to ask Peter and Jane rabbit Lieber, and, and what you would like to do about putting a whole bunch of people out of business. I no, do no, she no, care. No, 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 no. I have the utmost faith that you have other talents besides making coats out of Jane. Jane, Jane, what would I do for a living? We'll Jane? start wearing human skins, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jane, what's he supposed to do for a living? Can he tour with you? Or, uh, well, no, no. Can you sing? You can you dance? Right, Jane? I just think there's other alternatives. All right, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, what a great debate, that. All right. You know? Hey, Jane, can we make out during the commercials? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who are you married to again? Some rich guy? Uh, His name's Jed. He's not rich, no. I'm the rich one in the family. She's got tons of... Are you you a millionaire? Uh, Give it to me, Jed. I I don't know. How do you you qualify that? I mean, do you have over a million dollars? cash? Yeah, in cash. No. Jed. Do you have a million dollars worth of assets? Yeah. Wow. No, more. More. More than a million. Oh my, go, go, go. That's a girl. And she's good looking, too. Is your husband real good looking? Yeah. Oh. Well, Better than me? Yeah. Where's Jed from? Different. 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 He's from Scotland. Mm. Boy, I'd love to have oh, a woman. Oh, with an accent and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robin, you love that. All right, let me take a break. Dice is here. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. The soundtrack's available. Jane is here. You want to finish the news with us, Jane? Sure. What's the news? Well, Robin has the news. I don't know what it is. I thought we, I thought we covered the news. <laughs> well, we got a couple more stories. Well, what is it? What's, what's the big story? We already did the big one. You're still talking about the uh, cuticles? The cuticles? <laughs> you ever cheat on your husband? No. Not yet. Liar. Not yet. Jeez, I've only been married four years. Come over here. Just come over here for a second. <laughs> come over here. Oh, all right. Come over here and sit on my lap. Okay. No, wait for the commercial Come on. What's, what are you so uptight no, about? Come on. Go over there. Come over. Oh, do me a favor. What are you come uptight on. about? Come to me. Oh, you come over here. No, I can't come to you. No. I'm not the submissive type. Playing games here or what? Yeah. Dice, is she playing games or what? Uh, give a little smack on the edge. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll be back right after these words. Lynn. Come over here. Let me just let, let me do some go stuff over there. to you. Do me a favor. Let me do some stuff to you, Jane. What yeah, do you go care? Over. What? Read Your husband's not going to hear this. She's a hot little number for a kid her age. How old are you, Jane? 32. Jesus. You're jerking me off. You're 32. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll do that. Please. Oh, I'm You're sorry. 32. Actually, 33 next week. Wow, she looked, you really look a lot younger. How old does she look? Thank you. I'd say about 26. I'd say 23. No, she don't look 23. Jane, take off your bra. <laughs> take off your bra. No. Come on. No. Just get no. naked for those animals. Just for a goof. <laughs> All right, anyway, for a goof, take off your bra so Fred can see. I bet you a few guys were in here. If you do would. it, Robin will do it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Robin will do it. She'll flood this room, man. You look 23. She's unbelievable. You look like Robin. a much used 23, but 23. <laughs> oh, man. What's wrong with you? She's been around He's been a very cruel today. You're, you're so, such a Before gentleman. Before you were married, did so you cute. throw it around a lot? Oh, yeah. Oof. She had a lot of sex. Yeah. Dice, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, Dice. Look. Did you have a lot of sex before you got married? Yeah, yeah. You really did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of sex. Like, like anybody one famous? night stand type of stuff? Uh, no, usually like two or three night stands. Anybody famous? Oh, yeah. Like who? I don't want to tell. Oh. No, see, you know no, what? I you missed that. out, Howard. When I last, well, last time I was on the radio in L.A., I took over a show for the evening. You know, I was a mm-hmm. DJ. And I played a whole set of people I had slept with. Really? Oh, yeah. so man. I'm sure they were so pleased. Don't tell me who they were, but what was the set? <laughs> please tell me. Oh, come on, Jane. Don't clam up on me. It, Give me. Howard? Oh, please. Come on. Just this come one. On, you Why would you do that? Why would you tell? Come on. I love animals too. No, Guys. no, no. I didn't. Because if it's just you know a band and you who know, was you it? Say just tell me one group. Tell us the band. Actually, I said they were gentlemen friends. What group? All right. What are some of your gentlemen friends? Don't say sex. No. Some, it doesn't mean you had sex with them. They were friends. Uh, 
Yeah. Come on, just tell me two. No. Oh, come on, don't make no. me beg here. I'll come over there. No, just come tell us it's, the it's, band. No, it's too much like showing off. Just one. Just tell me one. Showing off like she's the only chick that could do it. Right. Steven Stills? They all know how to show off. <laughs> David Crosby. Was it? No. Hard to get that out of her. <laughs> Gary Lewis? Gary Lewis and the Playboys? Oh, no. Come on, I'm not that old. Jose Feliciano? <laughs> Jesus. It's getting worse. Richie Havens? <laughs> Julio Who's Iglesias. That? Julio Iglesias? <laughs> Who did you have? Julio, Julio. Who did you have? No, not Name you. one. Just one. No. Howard. Jesus. Just Tom Jones. Your life already. Was it Tom Jones? John <laughs> no. Travolta? No. No. Tony Orlando? Duff? No. <laughs> yeah, wait, who is that? Oh, from Guns N' Roses. All right. Yeah. Put out the cigarette. I don't feel like it. Go how ahead. Come Make me. How Put come? it out now. Hey, yeah. how come? <laughs> oh, it's a Colton. <laughs> how come if Dice is a character, Andrew smokes all the time? Yeah, explain that. <laughs> Dice is no character. I told you you're not a character. Well, well, you know, people, they break my chops, you know. <laughs> Who's Dice? Who's Let me tell Andrew? you what happened with Dice. Who's in between? Yeah, right. Let me you tell know, you something about Dice. I'm over here. Dice is over here. They get together and they curse. Let me tell you something about Dice. <laughs> I have talked to this guy extensively on the yes. phone, several hours well, at a with time. with personal friends. Right. Several hours at a so time. People, but he doesn't break character, so how could it no be a other character? There's guy, huh? So when he was going on all these talk shows saying he's a character. What, do I curse on the phone? Well, no. we don't curse on the radio. Is that, we, we See, don't that's curse. what makes the character. You know who's a fake is a hot tub. <laughs> hot tub's a fake. Yeah? yeah. Where is he? Is he done... Is he a big baby? Oh. When Dice is laying there in the cancer ward with the tubes up his nose, he'll go. You oh, be alive. Hey, you better. Uh, uh, give me a cigarette. No, you'll be. You'll be. Uh, give me that number for physician. You know smoke what he'll be doing? Group. He'll be putting his little finger over that hole so he can still get the cigarette. Over the pot. He'll be talking yeah. with that 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 uh, with that cancer kazoo. Yeah, he'll be like, right. Hello, this is Dice. How are you? It's not a bad idea. How'd you do that? How did you do that? Wait a second, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. My grandmother lived to 150. She smoked every day. You'll see. Well, women do live forever. You know that. Jane, did you like when I did that? Yeah, that was Do you realize how talented I am? Come over here. Come on over. Go over to him. What, Come on, what's your big on, problem? What's the big let me kiss deal? your stomach. Come on over and let me kiss your stomach. Go ahead. What is the big deal? Oh, she's right. coming. But do a walk. Do a good walk. Come here. Do a good walk. Come on. Just step right over here. Lady like. Ready? On the air. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. Oh, oh come on. Well, how involved do you get on a stomach? <laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> think she'd let me do it. This guy's a 60 minute man. I hate belly man. looking. <laughs> let me try it again. Where are you going? Okay. That's what chicks do all the time. Ready? Belly look. What, what, what's Shh. belly looking about? Hey, be about? quiet. I don't know what that is. Hey, just because you get a lot. <laughs> and then they got to suck your toes. You like that? What are you wearing? Yeah, I wish I had a boot yeah. on. You wearing a perfume? Yeah. What is it? Calyx. Can I kiss They're your neck? They're gonna like do detail oh, work. Lord can I kiss Jesus. your neck? You know all right, don't I mean, go away. Jackie. Wait, here's what your stomach. What's wrong with you? All right, all right, I'm just seeing well, what I can get. Well, you make out with her. I'll hey, take over girl. the show. Hey, Dice, like be quiet for a second. Kiss your neck. All right, I was just trying. Oh. Right, here we go. Dice ready? talk show. Tell me what you feel when I do. Talk and tell people what you feel when I do this. Ready? All right, here we go. This is supposed to be entertainment. Here we go. Oh my God. Yeah, I do that to my eight-month-old kid. What do you think? What'd you feel? I don't. Nothing. It just felt weird. Let me kiss your neck. No. Tell me what you feel. Howard. Oh, please, come on. What is the big deal? It's your neck. Come on, honey. What, <laughs> what is the big deal? What is the big deal, Robin? Give him oh, your freaking neck. Deal. You're a married man. Why are you yeah, kissing your women's bellies and neck? Oh, that's not like cheating. Oh, yes, it is. Any, no, my it's wife not. told me anything above this the, is over the, entertainment. Above the waist. This is entertainment. Howard, I can't, I can't believe they, they spell things phonetically for you. Yeah. Is it Jane that Weedland. hard to remember Weedland? He doesn't speak you know English. I, that's Gary spells that. He doesn't know how to spell English. Come on, give her a kiss. Jane, come on. On your neck. On your neck. Come on. Please, come on. Right now. God, right, I can't come believe here. the things I put up with. I'll just do the come sound here. effects. Hey! Ow, you need to shave. Why do you smell good? Thank you. Well, she showers. Hey, kiss her, Dice. Yeah, I don't feel like making Let Dice kiss your neck. Secret, I, I don't want to make out with her. What a smell on her. Father. What a stink on her. Oh, dear. It's fabulous. I love your smell. Thank you. Dice, kiss her. No, would you quit? God. You better let me kiss you again or I'll, I'll kill a giant panda. <laughs> Hey, Fred, kiss her. <laughs> the things I'll do to save animals. Go ahead, Fred. Dice's father. Go ahead, Fred. Kiss Howie. his stomach. Or kill, Mom kill an animal. Mom is not doing nothing, Ma. Show business. Show Howie, business. we don't play games. You let Fred yeah. kiss you or I'll have him kill a giraffe. Uh, An endangered well, species. Matter? My dad's not good enough for you anymore. I like your daddy's cute. Right. So then let him kiss you. Howard, Howard, let me give you, <laughs> give you a tip for the girls. Go ahead. Shave more, because it's really, it hurts. Who cares if it hurts? Uh, it didn't hurt me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let me tell you, some of these hoes love it when you don't Aww. shave. That's right. 
Jane, go Bronski, Fred, or I'll kill a dog. Go Bronski. But she's a lady. What's See, that? she wants the clean shave. You know. Oh. Jane, you're fabulous. Thanks, Howard. Jane Wheedland's here. She loves animals. Dice is here. He loves his movie, Dice Rules, opening at uh, theaters this Friday. Soundtrack available. Mm -hmm. Jane brought by a little music she put Soundtrack's together. Soundtrack's doing very well. That will play. Is it? Yeah. How many units have you sold so far? Uh, units. How many daddy boy? Right. Units. You're a pro. 160,000 in three weeks. Wow. That's pretty hot. Jane, you ever been romantic with an animal? You love them so much? Oh. Would you ever get romantic? I, mean, I, I, tell, I already told you I never kiss and tell. Hey, let me tell you something. Yeah, that's the way, way you love the animals, show dedicated that shows me something about you. It shows you got some compassion. Great. <laughs> You're a hell of a woman. Thank you, Howard. You're a hell of a man. Thank you. Robin, you want to finish up with some news? Are we sure the president is all right? He took an extra day at Camp David this weekend because he was tired. Well, you know, let him rest. <laughs> I just want to make sure. You know, sure. the president's back in my act now. You know that. Is he? What do you yeah, say about him? I went into the hospital, he said, you know, that he should be allowed to do his act and not be bothered. And, and then what happened? Well, he didn't actually say my name. <laughs> All right. You know, he like said, you know, the whole freedom of speech thing, like, right. what's wrong with you idiots? Exactly. You know. President hmm. Bush said that. So, you know, I, I want to get him something. What are you going to get him? Something nice, you know. Well, uh, let's just... One of always, you know. Just hope that, that... Oh, stop it. Just yeah. hope that that whole thyroid thing will get her over okay. there. She'll be like... Oh! Hey, do you think Johnny Carson would be interested in him as a guest? He only has a thyroid condition. Well, you know, he's drinking that radioactive iodine. Yeah, that, that, hey, Johnny Carson might want to speak to him. I hope someday I get cancer so I can go on The Tonight Show. Oh, don't say things like that. Why not? It's the only way to get on. Come on. Johnny got a 10. Hey, you get co magazine covers and everything. Yeah, Michael Landon got on the cover of People. It's worth it. I'll take a little cancer. Yeah, just something, something I can get beat, you know. Yeah. Like uterine cancer. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to make sure the president's okay. I did see that no, he he's took right. an he's extra hanging. day I called there. Him. You called him? I, I know everybody. Hey, Robin. Bush the is drinking. Queen is in town. Bush is drinking that nuclear medicine, Robin. Did you read that thing about her carrying a kid hmm. skin toilet seat with her, the Queen? I didn't know it was kid what skin. Kind? Are you upset about that? What this? do you mean, kid skin? I just think that's bizarre. What's, What's kid skin? I can make, Who's kid? Yeah, made out of baby children. I don't, I don't know. Skin toilet seat she has to carry with her. Yeah, but that's the queen's ass you're talking about. <laughs> you can't just go on. She can't sit on a wood or plastic seat. That's horrible, right, yeah. guys? Yeah. yeah, I guess you couldn't sit on plastic. <laughs> what, are you trying to get the kiss, uh, Jane? against me like rat poison. What? No, I like her. I like her. What did I ever do to you? Jason, yeah, I got to build up my show. He's got to pick on you. Rat poison, write that down. Go ahead. The Tylenol case has been settled already, Howard. Yesterday I asked you whose fault was it that some maniac tampered with the Tylenol and put cyanide in it. Hot tub, Johnny. Yeah. But the company settled. They decided not to go to court and fight it out. Crazy. How much money? They won't say. It's a sort of seal. They sealed the settlement. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. Don't you think it's not the fault of Tylenol that some imbecile is going around tainting the Tylenol? Why is it their responsibility? Why is it always Tylenol, too? It's a competing company that's doing it. Shut up when I'm talking. Excuse me. Big man. Oh, now you got an argument going. I don't know you five minutes while having a fight. Oh, now she's got to she's got to open up a trap when I'm talking. You're trying to say something. And she's in the your head. I mean, I'm over here. I hear here. you. Here. I hear you. And then you back it up with, why is it always Jane, title? it's true. Like, she wants somebody to poison bear now. Right. <laughs> now yeah, you give not... some idiot yeah, the why idea, are you making yeah, these suggestions? I'll be the bear killer. You know, that really <laughs> is kind of a dopey statement. Yeah, Jane, you got to admit that. Uh, dumb like. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not that dumb. No, she's cute and, and smart. She's she cute. makes a good so point. So what were you going to say, Mr. Clay? Well, you don't poison anything. Right. Unless it's like your girlfriend's dinner. <laughs> you know, then you're hurting the one you love. That's all right. Uh, you always oh, do. Who, me? I mean, in general, people always do. Why, have so you been they hurt say, a lot? Oh, you always hurt you the one you love. You think Jed'll hurt you? <laughs> nah. Jed's a very lucky man. Damn right he is. He sounds like a real idiot. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Robin, let's finish up the news here. Madonna's Truth or Dare opened big, Howard. Wow, more money for her, huh? <laughs>
Yeah. So, uh, well, before Dice Rules comes out and changes the lineup. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's good. Did you see it? I um, saw, uh, yeah, the Madonna. I wouldn't go see it. Why? Because I think it's stupid. Why? Because I don't think she's doing anything so outrageous. Oh, she's running around. I'm so outrageous. What, you go to see her be outrageous or you just go to the movie? That's I'm not what? going to that. I don't think what? it's so outrageous. All she's so doing what? is trying it's to shock movie. people. What, you think that movie What's so shocking? outrageous? What does she do? Talk to Sandra Bernhardt about some Wait lesbianism? Did you think that was shocking, that movie? No, I didn't think it was shocking at all. Maybe I well, didn't say that. What, to see it? What, she, she forces two guys to kiss? What do I have to see that she for? She didn't do that. She didn't force any the kiss. The press has made it sensational. Yeah. That's I'm not, not in going. the movie. Baby cakes. You ever it's go with a chick? A... Yeah, all the time. No, I'm just, just oh, yeah. No, yeah, all the time. Did Me you ever go with a girl? right? You actually made it with another girl? Remember, did you ever make it with a girl? Yeah. Lots. Yeah. Really? Lots. Yeah. Why, why would you do that? Just to check it out. Which is better? Mm. With Which the is better? What do you think, Robin? I've never done it with no, a woman. Well, just, you know, <laughs> is it better imagine. with a woman? Nah. No, it's not better. You did it with it's... another woman? Oh, yeah, a lot of times. What really? do you do? Yeah. Does Jed get to watch? <laughs> no, no, no. Come here. No, Come over here again. Now I realize I was too delicate with you. All of a sudden, I'm just kissing her stomach. I'm getting pins and needles in my foot already with Come on over here. Really, this is, it's getting old. Down. Well, you know, years ago when I was wild and young. Really? Yeah. That turns you on. Was there more than one girl? Oh, yeah, a lot. Because my dad At always once. asked me about this. You know, pig pen pilot. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, is that great? <laughs> oh, what I would pay to see that. But getting... You Dice, does that turn you on? Have a lot of that Are you getting aroused? Huh? Are you getting aroused? No. No, but I am. All right, listen, we got to go. Where? We got to leave because I got to go to a meeting. Mm. But yeah, I just want to remind everybody to watch the Donahue show today. We'll find out which is better, making love to a man or a woman. Well, yeah. Jane won't tell us. <laughs> you know, all those shows, Yeah. every one of them do the same show over and over again. I know, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, Oprah you know. does it, then Phil does it, or Phil yeah. does it, then Oprah does it. Now, Oprah's a chick. You like her. Mm. There's a woman with a little meat on <laughs> How bad must she smell? Oh, stop that. She, oh, she don't wow, smell right? Oprah. Why do you Why? Not that I know. Oh, but she's fat. She's got the folds. She bathes. With the cheese. Is she fat again? Yeah. I really got to keep up. I think she's got stuff. a beard. I she said oh, she'll never beard. go on a diet again, and you see that I respect. Well, you respect I mean, that. Why? why you wouldn't sleep with Oprah? Again? No. No way. I, Please. I don't think I could get aroused for Oprah. <laughs> oh, come on. You kidding me? <laughs> No way. She's but got Jane, I could be aroused. Big bank when she was skinny, did you think she was cute? You shave, Jane? No, see that see that depressed me when she lost weight. <laughs> really? The minute she pumped up again, I was there. You see, I know you're lying, so I ain't listening to that. Yeah, I don't know why Dad, he tells these Don't lies. I like them big and sassy? The bigger the better the better. Well, here's a picture of your boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have one on me. Come on. Well, she's heavier than you. Well, that's not saying much. I only weigh 95 pounds. Well, How tall are you, Jane? Five feet. I love that. You well, know? no, you couldn't be seen out in public. No, but She's I would not just, tall enough. I would just have her in my bedroom, and I would have sex with her a lot, but I would never be seen oh, with her. Oh, I see. Skinny small. girls just look good when they're dressed like this. That's it. Yeah. You know. God, no, I've seen I'm her in other skinny, outfits. I'm skinny. I'm just regular, normal. Can no, you take no, off your bra? You're, you're very skinny. Can you come over here and take off your bra? People obsess too much come on, on weight. Lose the bra. Come on. No. Do me a favor. No. Take come your on. pants off. All right. Yeah, but you're the chick with the boobs. You follow <laughs> All right, listen, let's uh, round this thing up. Anything else, Robin? <laughs> nah. I tell you I'm a Robert right. Wagner? Nothing else no. here. Dice rules open. I really like John. Uh, the deep thing is Alexander Monday. All right, I'll do the plugs. Right, Dice okay. rules open to theaters I this Friday. I know, this Friday. soundtrack available. <laughs> Uncut, uncensored, unbelievable. Jane Wheedlin, any uh, plans for solo album, Jane? Not and right now, no. Michael Wills Parisi, Pasquale and Wong. Jane Wheedlin, who cares about animals, took her clothes off at the Oscar de la Renta first show. Is that it? Oscar? De Laurenta. Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, you, you struck a blow for animal rights. Yahoo. How about caring about some people once in a while? Nah. Sure. Yeah. Him and yeah, I'll I want to thank uh, Fred for coming in, Dice's TK, father. Get the door, TK. Very nice meeting you, Fred. You're a good man. Believe me, you watch out for your boy. I like that. Fully at the plaza. Yeah. Hey. Dice, always hey, good hey. to see you, Jane. Fully. I love you. I love you too, Howard. I really care about you. Are you and your big animal friend there. Oh. What? What'd she say? She next said time next time they'll be French kissing. Chrissy Hines sends her best, too. Next oh, tell her I said hi. Tell her I said hi. I will. Hey, keep getting all those wacky uh, women up here with the anti-first stuff. I like that. The fur people love you. Bye, bye Jane. Bye, Howard. 
Oh, she's just leaving. Goodbye. She ain't going anywhere. She went the wrong way, Robin. <laughs> she's locked in this. Bye, Jane. She's at my door. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Okay. Hey, Rock. Hi, Gary. Delabate, please. Stern Show, can I help you? Yes, Bob there? Who? Bob? There is no Bob at this extension. Yeah, they just uh, sent me through. I need Bob. There is no Bob at this, at this extension. Yeah, there's a Bob there. Uh, Bob, uh, a buoy. Ah, hey, you know what? It's really funny. All right, thanks, man. All right. Okay, hey, Bob, a buoy. Yeah. Uh, is this Bob a buoy? Yes, it is. It's Bob a buoy. Bob a buoy. Bob, a period buoy. Is am I the first one to call with that? Yeah, yeah. Really? There's you guys, guy. can you use it? Take you guys, care. you guys gonna use it? Yeah. Bob a buoy. He goes no. Hey, that's really funny. Okay, <laughs> Rock. Gary Del Bate, please. Ricky, young man. Stern Show, can I help you? Yeah, Bob. Gotta go. Bob on this. You gotta call back and say, I want to apply for an internship. I was referred by Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'd like to go ahead. Let's go ahead and roll it again. Here, can I help you? Gary, Gary Delabate, please. Hello. Is it Howard Stern Show? Who's calling? Yeah, listen, uh, how do I go about getting an internship? Uh, send us a letter. Uh huh. Well, how old are you? I'm uh, 18. I'll be 19 real soon. Okay, where do you go to school? Um, well, I came out of Emerson in uh, New England. You went to college already? Well, no, I've got I've got a summer thing going, and I'm looking for work, you know, okay. like an internship. Okay, I, I am looking for somebody. Uh, where do you live? Um, I'm living in Manhattan, Lower East Side now. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. You know what? Um, tell you what, my, I'm Gary. Okay, um, I was referred by a guy that you know. Who? Uh, this guy, Bob. Bob Bowie. <laughs> What did you say when you said Bob? Bob Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, 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 he wouldn't go, he wouldn't go, Bob who? <laughs> okay, Rock. Gary Dillabete, please. Stern Show, can you hold, please? Mm-hmm. Hi, Stern Show, can I help you? Gary Delabate, please. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting right now. Um, could you tell him Barbara called? Barbara, okay. Um, what's your last name, please? Just Barbara. Please put him on. I need to speak please to him. Please put him on. I need to speak to him. Uh, it's real important. Okay, can you hold on, please? Yeah. Hi, Barbara. Hi. How you doing? Good. Is Fred Norris there? Who's this? It's Barbara. Barbara who? Barbara Bowie. <laughs> Scatter. Their numbers are scattered.